All right, we just wanted to show you guys where you're gonna place the ball to get the, the ball to register onto the, onto the screen. You can see the orange TrackMan machine is always gonna be in the, these black cases in all five of the bays. What you're gonna do is directly in front of the TrackMan and in the middle of the hitting mat, you're gonna place the ball exactly there. There's a big square there, so it doesn't have to go in the exact same spot, but this in that general vicinity. And then for drivers, uh, we have eight different tee heights. You can see these little basket tees. They're in every single bay. bay. There's one through eight. Uh, so five and six, are the most common that people like uh, for their drivers. So you can see you just place it there, you put it on there and that's how you're gonna hit some woods. We also have one and two size tees which are good for three woods and irons if you're looking for that. So again, one through eight are the tee numbers, five and six being the most common, but that's what we use for drivers. All right, so thank you uh, for signing up to play on the course uh, in our simulator. So I just wanted to show you a little tutorial of how you're gonna select the course you want to play and then also the settings that you were looking to and add all of the players that you're playing with. So first of all, uh, you can see here, this is just a generic course uh, list. Um, I sent you in the email that you opened a list of all the 140 plus courses. So you probably coming in should know what course you want to play. If not, you're just going to click the search button here and you're just going to rifle uh, through all of the course options. Uh, you can change it by difficulty and you can also, there's a bunch of different categories. So that's how you're going to look through and, and decide what course you want to play. So I'm just going to cl click a generic course here. You're going to click it and then you're going to push the select button. And then this is how you add your player. So um, you're gonna plus add, push add player and then add guest. And then type the person's name in. And then uh, you're gonna add what T they are gonna play from. So here are all the T options. So depending on the course, they're gonna have anywhere from three options to upwards of eight options. Uh, so you can pick what T you wanna play from. And then you're gonna add, push add guest. Next, you're gonna add whatever amount of players. So if you have two, three, four, just continue to add players uh, as you will. Then the last part before you cl click uh, start, you're gonna click game settings. The game settings are pretty generic. The only thing you're gonna probably look to change uh, is if you're gonna putt or not. So you can see right now it's generic uh, gimme distance at eight feet. I would suggest either do 12 or 16 if you're gonna putt. Uh, so you're gonna change that to 12. And then if you do not wanna putt, what you're gonna click is the putting button. And this is where it's gonna get you auto putt options. So there, the two that I would recommend are Auto Putt Tour Pro. What that is, it will just give you a percentage of what a tour professional would make at that uh, distance. So it's just luck of whatever the computer does with their percentages. Or, or the second option I would do is Auto Fix. Auto Fix is a one putt inside 10 feet, 10 to 60 feet, uh, or excuse me, 10 to 65 feet is two putts and then three putts, anything outside 65 feet. So if you did not want to putt, I would do those two options, auto two or pro or auto fix. But again, if you did want to putt, always make it on um, manual aimed and then change the gimme distance to either 12 or 16. Everything else I would keep the same. We have low wind, uh, we have a warm up on the first tee, uh, stroke play. Obviously if you wanted to change that to like a scramble, if you're playing a scramble, there's two, two man scramble and four man scramble, you can change that as well. Uh, but it, in the, these settings I would just leave the same because uh, those are pretty generic that most people like. And in the bottom right you're just gonna click save and then that's where you're gonna put push start game and then you're all, all ready to go. All right, so this is the screen uh, once the course is loaded. So you can see where it says warm up here. So uh, you can hit as many shots as you want right now. Uh, it will register, but it just uh, will kick you back to the first or to the T. Uh, so hit as many as you want. Once you are ready to play, you're gonna play, push this ready to play button in the bottom left hand corner. Um, it will tell you who's up first. So you can see Tiger's on the T first. Um, so it'll tell you how far the hole is and then how up or downhill the pin location is. So on par fours and fives, this number won't matter until you're actually shooting at the green. So it will matter on par threes and then second and third shots like we just said. Uh, then if you look over here on the map, this is how you aim. So you can see right now your aim is right directly in the middle of the fairway. You can change that. Like if you have a tendency to fade the golf ball, aim it left, draw the ball, golf ball, aim it right. Or if you want to cut a corner, it can tell you how far that corner uh, would be to cut. So that you can see 281. It will also show you how up or downhill that specific shot will be. So it's going to be five yards uphill. Uh, so it would be about a club longer than 281. It's every 15 feet is about a club longer. Um, so uh, another thing uh, to know, when, when you do hit one into the rough or the sand, it will give you a percentage. So you can see right now it says 100% in the bottom right hand corner. Um, so let's just say hypothetically it says 90%, you are in the rough and you're 100 yards away. You're going to take 10% of 100 yards 
yards and add that to your distance. So that's an easy math for that one. 10 yards, so it'd be 110 yard shot instead of a 100 yard shot. So when you are not in the fairway, you're gonna wanna look at the percentage. Um, and then the last thing, if you ever wanna look at your scorecard, you go click any name in the upper right hand corner, it will show you your score by score um, on, on the holes. Obviously we haven't started yet, so uh, it doesn't say anything currently, but it, once you start playing, it will. Um, so that's kind of how you get set up on the tee. Once you are on the green, uh, we will show you uh, uh, on our next clip how, how to right, You Now you can see that uh, we are on the putting surface. Um, and this is if you choose putting. If you do not choose putting, this will not this will not matter to you. Um, so it will just, just kick you to the next hole if you do auto putt. So with the putting line, it will show you exactly where what line the putt will go to. So you can see this one's going to break right to left. It's already aiming you to the right. So all you have to do is putt it straight. So you're going to put it on the exact same spot you did uh, when you were hitting the full shots, and you're going to putt it uh, just like you would outside. Um, so you can see 22 feet uh, is the distance with five inches below you. This is really important to learn uh, how much the up or down hill is going to matter. So 22 feet downhill, five inches, you're going to turn that into a 16, 17 foot putt. If it was uphill, it'd be opposite. You're looking at mid to high 20s if it was uphill five inches. Uh, there is an eight or, or excuse me, a 12 or 16 foot gimme, whatever you decided before you played. Uh, so there's a big radius around the hole. So uh, really you're just trying to get it into that circle. You're not going to make a ton of putts at this distance, uh, but that's how the putting will work. Put it in the same exact spot, put it straight, and just try to get it into the gimme circle.